welcome to another edition of the DP News Online video podcast. In this episode for the week ending June 1st, 2008, we go to Townsend, Tennessee to visit with Mike Clemmer, who invites us into his workshop as he makes some adjustments to one of his instruments. And then from our YouTube files, it's Gary Gallier taking a break from the road and performing on a chilly mountaintop. It's all right here in this week's episode. Thanks for joining us. This is the inner sanctum. Yeah, into my lair, said the spider to the boy. And it is just a wood shop, so it's going to be dirty. Mike Clemmer is the designer of Helen, my double neck dulcimer, which I've been playing since November of last year. After playing out for a while, I discovered that there was some sort of a 60 cycle hum happening when I plugged her into a PA system. So we elected to take a look inside and see if we can fix her up. on a little bit of wood here. Uh -huh. I found this piece that had some cool stuff in it. Okay. And this has too. As you, we, you know, we can pick pieces of it to right. make the back of it. I thought this would be sort of neat right there. Find out what we do, and I thought the, the color match might be nice too. Somewhere in transit, a couple of wires got twisted around each other, so Mike couldn't do what he normally does, which is take the pickup out through the jack at the end of the instrument. So it was decided between the both of us that an access panel needed to be cut in order to get in tied to the electronics. He told me not to look, but I thought it was fascinating to see what he was going to do. Having pre-selected a couple of pieces of wood for the access panel cover, Mike draws an outline of where he's going to cut and then grabs one of his very specially designed saws to make the incisions. Once the panel is created, Mike takes a look inside and discovers that a couple of the wires have been touching, creating a non-grounding situation, which was causing the 60-cycle hum. Here, Mike cut the two pieces of wood and gives me a choice of which one looks the best. Like so we got a center in it. Yeah, a little swirl. Yeah. Either one. I don't know. <laughs> Both look pretty. <laughs> I like that one on top. This one? Yeah. Let's do this. After I've made my selection, Mike then takes the access panel and using a series of instruments inside the wood shop, buffs the edges so that they're nice and smooth and round. On a trip to Memphis, Tennessee, I inadvertently had scratched up Helen's back. So while working on her, he also reconditioned and refinished. I've been trying not to bounce my knee so much when I play. <laughs> well, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to block that right there. 
actually right about there. Right there? Yeah. Now I can either do black like this, mm -hmm. or... While building Helen, Mike had installed a switch that would turn on one or the other pickup to avoid any sympathetic string vibration while playing, since I'm playing in different keys. Since we were inside working on the electronics, I asked if he would install a volume knob. Yeah. One of the cool things about having this access panel is that as electronics get better in the future, I can swap out pickups and add other features to the instrument. As you can see from the finished result, it's very aesthetically pleasing and practical as well. I'd like to thank Mike Clemmer for taking such good care of me and Helen, and now we're ready to rock. And now from our YouTube files, Gary Gallier performs. Well, here I am at City of Rock State Park in New Mexico. It's a really pretty place. Thought it deserved to have a dulcimer played in it. <laughs> Song called Farewell, Fair One. <laughs> Well, that's our show for this week. Thanks once again for joining me. Be sure to check out our audio podcast as well at dpnews.com. For Dulcimer Players News, I'm Bing Futch. We'll see you next week. Music